Hi guys, welcome to Tutes Online. Today I'm going to talk to you about the sphenoid bone. This is an unpaired bone and it articulates with every other bone of the cranium except for the nasal bone, the inferior nasal concha, and sometimes the maxillary bone. It can be confused with the temporal bone, the parietal bone, the occipital bone, or the frontal bone. I'm going to draw a composite picture of the sphenoid bone in order to reveal its most common features. So this is an anterior or ectocranial depiction of the sphenoid bone. Here and here is what is referred to as the greater wing of the sphenoid. And located on the greater wing of the sphenoid is the orbital plate. We also have the sphenoidal crest in the midline. and we can view some foramina. We can see foramen ovale and also foramen spinosum. There are two projections here called the lateral pterygoid process and the medial pterygoid process. Here I'm drawing a composite view of the endocranial surface or posterior surface of the sphenoid bone. So just as there was a greater wing, there's also a lesser wing of the sphenoid bone. And that lesser wing is located here. This portion here is where the greater wing of the sphenoid bone is located. In the center of the sphenoid bone we have a depression this is where the pituitary gland of the brain sits and it is bounded by processes. The anterior ones are called anterior clinoid processes. The depression is referred to as the cella to seca. And the posterior processes which bound this area are called the posterior clinoid processes. We have a ramp-like structure behind this part of the sphenoid bone and this is referred to as the dorsum cellae. Just underneath the lesser wing of the sphenoid we can see foramen rotundum which we could not see on the ectocranial slash anterior surface of the sphenoid bone. We can also see our other two foramen, foramen ovale and foramen spinosum. A 
and these bits that are projecting from the ectocranial surface are those medial and lateral pterygoid plates. And that about wraps it up for the sphenoid bone. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Make sure you visit our website or subscribe if you want to learn more about forensic anatomy. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.